Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this in one go, so if I stumble over my words going forwards, I apologise in advance. And as always, I apologise in advance too if the quality of this video is fairly poor, if there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it cannot be helped, and hopefully it's not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision Song Contest 2020 related video here on my channel, and another sort of reaction video. I have, just within the past minute, finished listening for the first time in full to this year's Austrian entry, Alive, by Vincent Bueno, but we have another song that has entered the mix for Eurovision this year, which will of course take place in May in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. It's the Irish entry. Of course, Ireland are kings of Eurovision. Austria have only won twice, but Ireland have won seven times, but not since the mid-1990s. Of course, Johnny Logan won three times, twice as the solo artist front and centre, and then once as a songwriter for Linda Martin. The past few years, form's been a little bit patchy, more often not qualifying than getting through to the grand final, but of course in 2018, together, uh, that was a wonderful performance. At one point in the build-up to that grand final in Lisbon, it was one of the favourites to win. Last year, though, Ireland finished last overall with 22 by Sarah McTurn. So, I don't really know what to expect this year. Uh, RTE, the Irish broadcaster, have really been bigging this up. At one point, uh, I think somebody at the broadcaster said that it was going to be on par or bigger than Euphoria. And that's a really big statement to make. You've got to deliver then, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but apparently it's upbeat, and I shall see what it's like. The musician is Leslie Roy. Now, there were rumours it was going to be a band, but clearly not. That was a bit of a red herring. Uh, Ireland are in the first half of the first semi-final. Who knows, it might even open the first semi-final. Leslie Roy apparently was born in Dublin in 1987. Uh, she released her debut album in 2008. Uh, which did all right in the US. So she has had one song, albeit in 2008, that did quite well. Albeit, not seemingly in her homeland. Very strange. Uh, it doesn't seem as though she's done a huge amount since. Lots of songwriting. Um, she's worked with Adam Lambert, apparently. Okay. Well, I suppose this is maybe a bit of a comeback of sorts. So we'll see what it's like. It's called Story of My Life. Now I've got my Irish flag here. Hopefully you can see that fairly well. It's pretty big. I'm going to wrap it around me like I did with my British and German flags last week. So, yes, this Irish entry. I mean, I usually like Ireland songs, I'll be honest with you. There's only one or two over the past maybe decade that I've not been so keen on. Brendan Murray being one of them. But anyway, here we go. The music video. I'm on the official Eurovision YouTube page, just under, literally two views under, 20,000 views. Way more likes than dislikes. Let's see what some of the comments are saying first. Uh, this sounds more like Katy Perry, Pink and Victorious all combined, and she looks like Anne-Marie Sia or whatever. Voice Katy Perry. Uh, I like the old school vibe. What a bop. My new winner. Well, 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 well. Let's give it a listen. Leslie Roy for Ireland, story of my life. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. This immediately sounds like uh, the introduction to a bit of a pop banger. She's wearing a sort of pink jacket. Oh, yeah. This is good. Already. This reminds me already of a song, and I can't quite remember the name of it. I think it's called American Girl by Bonnie McKee. Listen to that song. I think that's what it's called, and I think that's the musician who sings it. The start of this song reminds me of that song. Anyway. Pulsating beat. Slightly husky vocals. Oh, hell yeah. It's got a sort of pop-punk thing going on. We are the in-crowd and things like that. Yeah. This is going to be in my top ten, telling you now. Sassy. 
This is good. I'm surprised. This is so throwback, somebody says. It is a bit. I hope she doesn't have the guitar on stage, because you're not playing it live. Oh, man. This is a bit nostalgic. I used to listen to this stuff a lot. Still do. Yeah. Reminds me of, like, Hey Monday and bands like that. Is it going to be a qualifier? Don't know. If she nails it live, yeah. Yeah. This is unlike anything else. I'm loving this. Fair play, Island. I'm really quite surprised at how much I'm enjoying this. The last time the Irish had a song anything close to this was 2009 with Etc. And I really like that song as well. She's in a nightclub or something now. There's just various people sitting in... Sitting on chairs and dancing in front of pastel coloured backgrounds. This is great. It's uplifting. This could open the first semi. I'll tell you, this could be in my top five. Slowing it down for the last 10 seconds or so. Oh! <laughs> I can't believe it! I really like that. That's my cup of tea, ladies and gentlemen, or rather my pint of Guinness in this case. Well, 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 well. This sounds like a song from the Disney Channel. Wow. This song is the definition of a guilty pleasure. Now, come on. I don't think you can use the words guilty pleasure when it comes to Eurovision because you shouldn't be ashamed of liking anything. Wow. This is good. I can't believe it. I don't know what else to say. I am pleasantly surprised and blown away by that. This sort of nostalgic pop-punk, pop-rock sort of thing going on. Uh, very different from Ireland, what they said last year and indeed the year before. I'm going to take my headphones off. That song for me stronger than the Austrian one, but that's just my personal opinion. Let me know your thoughts. I think that's going to stand out an absolute mile in Rotterdam. Very colourful staging, quite energetic, couple of dancers. Nail those vocals, though. Wow. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> Ireland shooting straight into my top ten, if not higher. Let me know your thoughts. I think that's the best Irish entry since Together. Well, we've only had one since Together, but you see what I mean. And uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, listening to the San Marino entry later on today and then compiling my top again. Just so you know, there'll be links in the description as always to my blog where you'll be able to read my thoughts on the entries we have so far in a little bit more depth. The uh, blog post for Austria and Ireland, which I'll bunch together, probably won't be up until later today, but it will be up at some point, as will the blog post for San Marino when we get that song. And also, if you want to see my actual uh, ranking of this year's songs so far, the best place is probably my Twitter page, but again, I won't be updating that list with the Austrian, Irish and San Marino songs until probably this evening. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble now. Ireland, that was damn good. Fair play. Until next time, apologies if the quality of this video wasn't great. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. It really is appreciated. Feel free to leave comments, and bye for now.